Come and worship the name of Jesus. Come and worship the name of Jesus. Come and bless God. Amen. I must greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless God from the master associate to the pew. Amen. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Worship the Lord. Come and bless the name of Jesus. Amen. Persons are still on their way here. Amen. Because it's our general conference. Amen. All the diocese should be here. So bless God. So if, if you're a deacon and deaconess, if you're a missionary, amen, I'm asking you to occupy your departments. Bless the name of Jesus. You know what department you're a part of. So please to occupy your department. Worship the name of Jesus. Come on, bless the name of Jesus. Come on, bless the name of Jesus. Amen. So today we're going to have greetings. Bless God. We're going to use a representative from each branch church to bring greetings. We worship the Lord. Come on, bless the name of Jesus. And I just don't want to say greetings. I just want you to get straight to the point and come down. We worship the Lord. Come on, bless the Lord. Come on, bless the Lord. Bless God. Amen. So at this time, we're going to have a representative from Sacred Heart to London. Bless God. We're going to hear from our Pastor Foster from Sacred Heart, Brompton. Amen. We're going to hear from Pastor Ball. Amen. Sacred Heart, George's Plain. We're going to hear from Pastor Ward. Brown in Jesus' name. Come as you're called. Let me hear you worship the Lord. Let me hear you worship the Lord. Praise the Lord. First, I want to greet the Spirit of God, which is the head of my life. Secondly, to our Metropolitan Primary, to all bishop, pastors, elders, to all you sweet saints. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me hear you worship the Lord. Let me hear you worship the Lord. Let me hear you worship the Lord. Today I just want to let somebody understand that everything that concerns God is strategic. Let me hear you worship the Lord. Let me hear you worship the Lord. You see, so many times we are going through some situation and we don't understand why we are going through it. We don't understand what is happening. Bless the name of Jesus. But I just want you to understand that once it concerns God, there has to be a strategy. Bless the name of Jesus. You see, there came a time, oh God Almighty, when God had to allow Moses to be born in Egypt. Bless the name of Jesus. Knowing that he wanted him to take the children out of bondage. Bless the name of Jesus. There came a time when he allowed, oh God Almighty, Joseph, brother, to sell him out because he understand that in order to get you where he ought to, he has to use a strategy. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. So I want to let you understand that sometimes you're going through hardship. The hardship is not meant to kill you. The hardship is not meant to take you out. Bless the name of Jesus. But it is meant to take you to where God wants you. God bless you. In Jesus' name.
to our honorable father in the house. Bless God to all our dignitaries on the platform, to all you sweet saints in Christ. Accept a morning greeting. Let me praise the Lord. Let me praise the Lord. This morning I can say I'm not sorry. I've answered the master call. Let me praise the Lord. Let me worship the Lord. This morning I just want to tell somebody that fallen days are over. Bless the name of Jesus. Jesus. Come and worship the Lord. Come and worship the Lord. Come and worship the Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. We're praying for Pastor Morgan. Amen. Sacred Heart, Green Jim. The dance together for her in Jesus' name. Oh, Jay. 
bless the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. If I'm Pastor Brown, bless God, Sacred Heart Galloway. Amen. Bless God, Pastor Foster. Amen. Sacred Heart Canada. Bless the name of Jesus, Pastor Mendes. Amen. Sacred Heart Science. Bless God, be brief. In Jesus' name, Sacred Heart Galloway, Sacred Heart Canada, and Sacred Heart Science. In Jesus' name. Come, Pastor Brown. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we worship the Lord? Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. We bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. First, just let me read the Spirit of God. Secondly, to a metropolitan private way and turn it faster. To each and every bishop, pastors, elders, each and every one in their respectful office, I just greet you all in one man name, Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Today I'm just here to encourage you all and even myself. Hallelujah to God. That faith do work. Hallelujah to God. When you believe. Hallelujah to God. Just the same in this woman with this issue of blood. Can somebody just worship God to know the condition that she has and to know the problem was getting worse each time when she expected to hear a good news each time when she supposed to hear, you know, what's up about your bone tube is getting all but uh, when she was hearing the water, oh God Almighty, that the issue is getting worse. Uh, can somebody bless the Lord, but in spite of what uh, she was going through, she still uh, have an ears open for some news, but I heard when she heard about a man called the name of Jesus, she did not uh, hesitate from building her faith. Uh, and if I just touch the hem of this man garment, then I know that what's ahead I'm going through, that I'm going to be healed. I don't know about you today, if you're going through some situation where you're about to give up, but will you remember of what the Lord has done for you? But I heard that when you remember that my disease was about to destroy me, and I have to build my faith. And I heard when she built her faith, I heard there was a lot of folks there beside Jesus. But I come to understand that there are times you see a lot of folks, but they are there for different reasons. But you know that she come for a healing. God bless you, Jesus. Come on, shall we praise the Lord? Come on, shall we praise the Lord? Come on, shall we praise the Lord? Amen, amen. First, let me give the Spirit of God. Is it of my life? Second, to the worthy apostle. From the rest of the two, accept salvation is greater. Come on, shall we praise the Lord? Uh, I'm just going to read 1 Corinthians 1, verse 3. Sign to the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Grace be unto you and peace from God, our Father, the Lord, Jesus Christ. Come on, shall we praise the Lord? Come on, shall we praise the Lord? Saved by grace. Praise the Lord. First, I'm just going to give you a little definition. 
definition of grace, oh God Almighty. Grace is when you get something but you don't really deserve it. Come on, shall we praise the Lord? Grace is like divine favor. Come on, shall we praise the Lord? Uh, it's not because of my father or it's not because of my mother caused me to be where I'm at in life. Come on, shall we praise the Lord? But because of his grace and his infinite mercy upon my life, come on, shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise God at the end? Shall we praise God this morning? Shall we praise God? As we call the busman, shall we praise God? The busman said, Look here, I have ready to take the big bus. Shall we praise God? So I can't call a driver, the owner, for a next vehicle. So he turned and called my wife and gave the boss his number. Shall I praise God? I said, when we are trust, when we are trust God, we can trust him. Shall I praise God from my whole heart? Shall I praise God? You know, and then my wife called the driver and explained to the owner, shall I praise God of the vehicle? He said, okay, go on. 
God man tell him to come. Somebody say, who could it be but Jesus? You know, when we are coming still on the way to the God, some of our gas station, we want some water, so we praise God, and the want my high was close, and I want something to keep up my head, so we praise God, and then, you see, Satan fighting to all, but the writer said, Christ in the vessel, he will smile the star, and when the, when the, when the driver drive up, shall we praise God, there is no clutch in the bus. And the driver was so skilled along with God's grace. And he take his time and he tried and he tried and he tried and he tried. And God helped him to reach us here. Shall we pray that somebody say this is right and right? But the will of God. Shall we pray that to excel? To a third to blow in a trumpet. In a sonic and an arm in a holy mountain. Shall we pray? And run to Jesus for eternity is there. God bless you in Jesus' name. Come on, bless the name of Jesus. Come on, worship the name of Jesus. Bless God from Pastor Thompson. Amen. Followed by Pastor Carr in Jesus' name. No, no, a thousand times no, Jesus will never say no, yeah, no, no, a thousand times no, Jesus. share this in behalf of my exaltation that it's a great change when Jesus touched you it's a great change when Jesus turned you around it's a great change when Jesus put on his hands upon you I say um what nine years I don't I don't own a vehicle I used to own a vehicle but nine years I never own a vehicle and out of the blue my Man of God, the prophet, someday he says something is coming. Are you to claim it? And because I see myself, it's nine years I don't receive a care. I, I receive it and I say in my mind, Jesus, you know my heart, I need a vehicle. And I, I assist a policeman with his mother. The, the malady of cancer. And I, I assist the, 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 the whole family with the mother with the cancer. And out of the blue, it was be a, a, a station at um, Fort, um, Freeport Police Station, and then he leave from Jamaica and go to the United States. And he called up the police force and went to the army. And out of the blue, he called me and said, Brother Thompson, I don't forget your kindness. I don't forget your kindness. Don't believe that we forget your kindness. I remember what you've done for us with, with our mother in the, in the trouble of the cancer. 
And he said, Mr. Thompson, you can put all your hope in God that all the family come together and you're going to receive a new care for next year. You're going to send, you're going to send $200,000 come for me to receive a care in the new year of my gift. I have feel so good and my mind reflects back upon the man of God, our worthy prophet, when he said something is coming great. I never know what was coming great, but here you know. Hallelujah. And let me say to you, I don't know, but since I come into secret heart, it come like I'm just born out of my mind. I feel good. I feel refreshing. I feel the blood of Jesus. I feel the Holy Ghost of my being. God bless you, and I'm I must say to you that um, this Sunday coming is going to be the last for me in Jamaica um, for, for, the, for the holiday season. I'm going to Barbados. Hallelujah. So this Sunday coming is my last um, Sunday in Jamaica until I get back the first week in January. Amen. So I'm leaving. So I'm asking the apostle and the, and the rest of um, co worker to pray for me. I'm going over to do some work over there. And I'm coming back the 6th of January next year in June. God bless you in Jesus' name. Come on, somebody worship the Lord. Come on, somebody worship the Lord. Praise the great Spirit of God is the head of my life, second to our apostle, to all bishops, elders, pastors, ministers, Evangelist, deacon, and deaconesses, missionaries, mothers, ushers, you would all you see saints accept by these greetings. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? And today I just want to talk to somebody. I just want somebody to just be like Elijah. Come on, somebody praise the Lord. Knowing that you could be in a situation where you have to face an army by yourself, but if you just trust in God, you can pull through. Come on, somebody praise the Lord. Knowing that sometimes the odds might be against you, but if you just lift up the name of Jesus, you shall be alive. Come on, somebody praise the Lord. Sometimes I just want someone to reminisce at Psalms 20, verse 7, and said, Some trust in chariots and some trust in horses, but I will remember the name of the Lord our God. Come on, somebody praise the Lord. Come on, somebody praise the Lord. Sometimes I just need you to be like Job and say, Although he slew me, yet will I trust him. Come on, somebody praise the Lord. Come on, somebody praise the Lord. Come on, somebody praise the Lord. Sometimes I just need you to, when time you feel like all hope is gone, you just go down to the city and look to the hill, someone's coming to your help. Knowing that your help coming from God, who's made heaven and earth, these are my fears in Jesus. Just the name of Jesus.
living a, as I said, not an ordinary church. So as the Holy Spirit moves, you have to move. Bless the name of Jesus. Come on, bless the name of Jesus. Come on, bless the name of Jesus. Come on, worship the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Bless God. Don't worry yourself, Virgin. Don't worry yourself. Don't worry yourself. Amen. Can I come to you, please?
And at this time, I'm going to have our island bishop, Manish. Yes, God, our island Manish is coming to remove the day's offering. Receive our island bishop in fear of the buildings. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody, lift your hands and just say, Thank you, Jesus. Come on, you're thanking me for being here today. Come on, open your mouth and say it with a little bit more appreciation. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Bless God. So, let me just acknowledge our visiting church one more time, even though we have already heard from our Bishop Tino. Bless God, we're coming with her. We have Overseer Thompson. We have Bishop Bennett, Pastor Brown, Evangelist Peter King, Missionary Brown, and all these persons coming from the Mount Carmel Spiritual Baptist Church, Buff Bay. I'm asking them please to stand so the church can acknowledge you. Put your hands together, church. You are welcome to be a part of us today, worshiping in the secondary spiritual church of Jesus Christ International. Put your hands together on the church for our visiting church all the way from Buff Bay, Portland. Let's start. We have Tisha Day night from Wittorn, invited by Sister Booth. Tisha Gay wife. Bless God. Put your hands together for her. Bless God. Is there any other first time visitor that I did not acknowledge? Bless God. Please give me a name and where from and who invited you today. So your name is Iris White. Okay, and she is our sister, Jacqueline Pinnacle, mom. Put your hands together for our mother in the house. Let's start. Introduction, announcements. Praise God. Virgin, you know that we are heading into our annual convention. Bless the name of Jesus, and we are doing it a little different this year. The church will be undergoing construction. This Tuesday night coming will be the last service going into convention because we'll be doing a lot of work here. And so for persons who have not contributed towards the tithing of the church, the cost is only $5,000. I'm asking you, please, you can reach out to me or our mother Honeygun, Cardinator Honeygun. We are in need of this. So I'm asking you, please, to make every effort. If you have more than the 5000 and you want to contribute it, that will be more than accepted. Bless God, we have already received our doors. Put your hands together, church. We have received our AC and the benches for the church have also been donated. Let's start put our hands together. So, you know, a lot of expense is still not on us, but we have to get the tiling of the church out of the way. And you know that we are not using it, no ordinary tile. So I'm asking you, please, if you, you have your contribution, don't hesitate to reach out to myself, Coordinator Ward Brown, or our Mother Honeygun. Let's start so we can move forward. You know, we have to pay workmen, even though the doors, the AC, and the benches have been contributed, we still have to pay workmen to install those things. You know, AC is very, expensive to install and we have to pay the person that is coming to do it. The persons that will be working on the doors also, they have to get paid. So even though they have been donated, we still have to pay our part financially to get them installed. Praise the Lord. Worship the Lord. Bless God. Right. 
Um, okay, so you all know that we have received a bus free of cost. Bless God. A coaster. Bless God. We have, we got a, a, a bus loaned to us for the convention. However, it is free of cost. It's, it, it will be going to the branch churches, go near and far. But you know, even though it has been loaned to us, we still have to service the vehicle and we still have to purchase gas or diesel. I don't know which one it use. But whichever, we have to ensure that the coaster is in good condition. Uh, we are not charging anyone to go on the bus, but what we are doing is just asking for a monthly donation of a thousand dollars. Moving forward, this is how we want to do it. Even when the coaster is back at its um, original destination, we still have the church bus. We still want to keep that going. So what we want to do is to just call it a small contribution. So no matter where the bus will be going, you don't have any money, you can be a part of the trip. Because we want everyone to be treated equally. So what I'm asking you guys to do is to pay a small contribution, monthly of a thousand dollars, and that will go towards gas and also to service the vehicle, get the vehicle watch just to keep it in proper condition. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Are you in agreement with me? Put your hands together if you are in agreement. That's the name of Jesus. If you don't have it monthly then you want to pay $200 weekly, that is also accepted because you can find the 200 but you can't find the 1000 We are still taking the $200 and we are available. I will be standing over there or you can reach out to me wherever, whenever, along with our mother honey gun. Bless God, we'll be here to um, accept your donation. Bless God, remember, members, officers, convention fee. Convention fee for members. It's only $500. I think officers, $1,500 for officers. Officers, $1,500. For members, $500. Not a thousand. $500. No. A pastor gave me that instruction from last week, and I've just received it again from the general coordinator. $500 for members, $500 for members, $1,500 for officers. So from the mother's department, from the usher's department, up onto the ministerial board, you guys will be paying $1,500. Members, your department, only $500. If you're going to school, just put up $1,100. Tuesday night, we'll be here collecting convention fee. Coordinators in various departments, get in your department because you know we need the convention fee because the church will be doing a lot of spending. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. All right, so because of ordination, then um, the ordination have been postponed. So we have dropped the convention fee to $500 and also for the, the officers, $1,500. However, for the persons who already paid the thousand, um, you won't be getting reimbursed. You are just, you know, contributing that towards something. But moving forward, we will be accepting $500 from each member and $1,500 from the members. So we have to drop it because we are not doing the ordination again until March next year coming. Bless the name of Jesus. So we want to stay in budget. We don't want anyone to feel too pressured or feel as if there's a strain over here. But we just want to stay in dialogue where finance is concerned. But I just want you to know that don't look at the building as if we are not um, going through a lot of finance. Trust me, Bridget. If you get to know how expensive it is, even light bill, light bill is sky high. 
So uh, we are asking for this contribution. It's not going into anyone's pocket. Um, let me apologize if I feel offended. I'm just relating something to you guys. All right. So I don't want you guys to look as if we are trying to do anything. What we are doing, we are trying to um, to keep everything in budget for everyone, both great and small, to be a part of this wonderful 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 movement coming up in the next week and a half because i can tell you that convention ain't gonna be ordinary we also have to cater bless the lord we also have to cater for our visitors coming from africa coming from america we have to ensure that they are properly taken care of food will be provided they will have to move to and from they are here for two weeks we can't just have them at church. We have to take them out now and then to explore. You know, so we want to leave a mark, guys. Sorry, members, bless God. So uh, I just want to relate a little that, trust me, the expense is high and we are trying our best to work with everyone as affordable as possible in the name of Jesus. Bless God. Thank you all for being here today. Your presence is highly appreciated. And the word is coming, and I know today your soul will be richly blessed. God bless you. Back to our finance minister, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. A ton load of announcement, and a lot of work have been done at the same time. But I have to remember my duty, what I was called to do, and it's to take up the money and to make sure that these things have properly serviced because they have money to pay the workmen. And if you notice, the church is really hot. Yes. And we are work oh, we are flashing the back from ground to ceiling around the back there. I think the guy the workmen have another four days around that. Yes, and they're doing a marvelous job around there. So it's work in work out and work all about hallelujah to god so back to the offering i have one testimony i'm ready i think i'm gonna take it now is there another person with a breakthrough testimony okay take up all your offering the ushers are busy today so i'm gonna be the usher for the money today don't worry yourself usher i will be the usher money today so what I want you to do is to take out your general offering, your 200, maybe your 2,000, your 4,000, your 500, your 10, your 20, while I'm going to call our dear Minister Donovan Brown to come and give his testimony while I walk around and collect the offering. Okay, Bridget? Okay? Yeah, like the way you sound. Put your hands together for our... Minister Daniel Brown. Brown. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. First of all, the Spirit of God. Secondly, the Metropolitan from the Rustin to the Pew. I greet you all in Jesus' name. You know, I can remember um, when I knew the coming here at this ministry. I remember that I could not read. I remember how I've been to high school only because there was placing student at that time and I remember when I came here the man of God had presented me with this Bible and I can remember I was here at a service and I was sitting on that side and he was prophesying and he was and I he told me to, to stand and I remember when I stand he was prophesying to me and he said to me that don't worry yourself because I'm going to read I'm just going to find myself reading and I can say this to say that right now, I remember going to school. The only before I, I when I got this book, the only thing I could rec uh, recall in it is just zip and an. And I can remember I skip out all through the Bible, just zip and an. Anything I, I can't say, I say glory to glory be to God. And I continue going through. But just as the man of God has told that I'm just gonna find myself reading. And just by doing that, I find myself reading. Who could be but Jesus? You know, um, the first time when I heard about an 
ATM machine. 